In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a text outline effect or a text stroke effect. Same thing, different terminology. And as you can see in this example website, again, just coincidentally, it so happens to be my portfolio website, dereksu.com.au. You can see the text Derek Sue is actually has this outline effect and this stroke effect. So that is what we're going to do in this tutorial. Let's jump into Webflow. All right, guys, I am now in Webflow. And as you can see, we have our lovely hero text. In this case, it's make this text outline so with a smiley face. So my current knowledge is there is no native way to do this in Webflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to add custom code. And again, for all those beginners, don't freak out. This is actually very, very easy to do. And I'll have the code in the description of this video. So feel free to just copy and paste it. And of course, my objective, my goal for you guys is just to understand how everything works, understand how the concept works, play around with the code, etc., etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this plus icon and we're going to scroll all the way down to embed. So right here where it says embed, and we're just going to drag it onto the canvas. And what this does is it opens up a code editor and we're going to go ahead and just type in style and we're just going to close this style tag as well like so and again this whole thing is in the description and i'm just going to paste in the code and that is it so just for anyone who's interested again if you're just a beginner try to just grasp the concept but because there's no native way to do this outline effect in webflow to my knowledge what we're actually going to do is we're writing a code to essentially force force Webflow to do this because again, there's no native solution. So right now what we have is we have a style tag. So an open style tag and a closed style tag, very, very typical um, coding um, terminology. Again, you don't have to know what this means. And what we have is dot outline. So when we have a dot and then the word outline, outline is just a class name, that's all. And then we have a bracket, which we're just defining what this class does. And what it's telling the computer to do essentially is put the, the fill color of the text to be transparent. And what we're also telling the computer to do essentially is to add a stroke. So a stroke is just the outline effect. And in this case, I added a 0 0.8 pixels. And again, you can feel free to just play around with how thick you want the stroke to be by just changing the pixels. And I've added a hashtag and a hexacode color of the color that I want uh, this to be. So in this case, this, this hexacode is a, is an orange color, but feel free to change it to whatever color you like. Just replace uh, the, the numbers after the pound symbol. And once that's done, I just want to click save and close. And you'll notice nothing actually happened. Typical custom code. So what we want to actually do now is we want to hit the heading one or the text that you want the outline effect to be. And now we just want to add that class that we just created in the custom code. So we just type in outline, hit enter. And as you can see, Webflow now registers the custom code. It's understanding that we just written custom code. And now you can see the text is outlined. Uh, there's one more thing to note here. If you guys are on a free Webflow plan, you might not be able to click onto the custom code or the custom embed uh, because it is a paid account thing only. If that's the case, all you have to do is just go on pages, go into the page settings right here, and then you can just add the exact same code right here in the body tag. So again, style, style, and then can't spell guys, sorry, style, and then the style close tag, just paste the code right here, do the exact same thing I just said, hit save. The only difference is you won't be able to see the changes live. So right now I can't actually see the effect. But if you publish your site, it would actually work. So that's the only difference um, between putting the code into an embed or putting the code into the body tag. So now if I go into here, you'll see that it actually works, but you won't see it in the design of view of Webflow uh, unless you put a embed. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. And I hope to do more of these tutorials. And if you want to learn more about these tutorials, I say the word tutorials a lot, please visit my website, dereksu.com.au slash tutorials. I'll see you in the next tutorial.